new month means new events. And I gotta be honest with you, I'm really excited for some of these. Uh, with all that said, we've got some news. So for our first bit of news, Giovanni has changed his Shadow Legendary Pokemon of the Month once again. And this time he's gone from the Electric Legendary Dog Raikou to the Fire Legendary Dog Entei. So if you complete either the new Team Go Rocket Special Research called the Shadowy Threat Grows, or if you complete any of the previous Go Rocket research during the month of March, you'll be able to gain the chance to catch a Shadow Entei. So for our next bit of news, along with the change to the Shadow Legendary of the month, the field research encounter has changed once again for the month of March, and has changed from a Wubat with bonus candy to a Pharaoh Seed with bonus Stardust. So from Sunday, March 1st at 1 p.m. Pacific Time until Wednesday, April 1st at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, uh, the Thorn Seed Pokemon Pharaoh Seed can be acquired through the 7th Day Field Research Breakthrough, along with a bonus amount of Stardust. So for our next bit of news, a brand new Gen 5 Legendary Pokemon will be making its way to 5 star raids, and that Pokemon is the Bolt Strike Pokemon Thunderous, specifically in its incarnate form. So starting on Monday, March 2nd at 1 p.m. Pacific time, Thunderous will be available to battle in 5-star Legendary Raids. And since it is an Electric and Flying type Pokemon, it is best to bring your, your strongest Ice and Rock type Pokemon in order to challenge Thunderous. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description below for a more detailed raid counter guides for Thunderous. As of right now, we are currently unsure as to how long Thunderous is going to be available in 5 star legendary raids, but we do know that it's going to have to share the 5 star legendary raids throughout the month of March, thanks to our next bit of news. So for our next bit of news, along with the arrival of Thunderous as the standard legendary Pokemon for 5 star raids, Niantic has also announced that there will be legendary special raid weekends happening all throughout the month of March. So starting off on from Friday March 6th at 8 a.m. in your local time to Monday March 9th at 10 p.m. in your local time, Darkrai will be appearing in legendary raids during that weekend. And most exciting part is if you're lucky you may be able to encounter a shiny Darkrai. For the next weekend, from Monday, uh, from Friday, March 13th at 8 a.m. to Monday, March 16th at 10 p.m. in your local time, the altered form of Giratina will be returning for a special raid weekend during that time. And if you're lucky, you may once again be able to encounter the shiny altered form of Giratina. In the next weekend, from Friday, March 20th at 8 a.m. to Monday, March 23rd at 10 p.m. in your local time, Cobalion will be making its return to 5-star Legendary Raids, and not only will be you be able to gain the chance to get a shiny Cobalion, but any Cobalion that you catch during this event will learn the exclusive attack, Sacred Sword. And finally, in the final weekend of March, from Friday, March 27th at 8 a.m. in your local time to Monday, March 30th at 10 p.m. in your local time, Lugia will be returning to Legendary Raids once again during this time. If you're lucky, you may be able to encounter a shiny Lugia. And much like Cobalion, if you catch a Lugia during this event weekend, you'll be able to get a Lugia that knows the exclusive attack, Aeroblast. So with two brand new shiny legendaries coming out this weekend as well as two pokemon getting new event specific charge moves during this time um, these are definitely some very exciting raid events that will be happening throughout march speaking of weekend events for our next bit of news niantic is planning to host a mysterious weekend event from Friday, March 20th at 8 a.m. to Monday, March 23rd at 10 p.m. in your local time. So during this time, uh, some of the features that they already have listed for this mysterious weekend event. Normal, fire, water, electric, and ice type Pokemon will be appearing more often in the wild. And not only that, but Ninkata will also be available either out in the wild or hatching from 5 kilometer eggs. And what's Exciting about Ninkata's appearance is that if you're lucky, you may be able to get yourself a shiny Ninkata. 
Uh, other features that they have listed for the week, the mysterious weekend, is that Kara Blast and Shelmet will be hatching more often from 5 kilometer eggs. And 1 star to 4 star raid battles will feature various bug or steel type Pokemon during this time. One other thing that's worth noting is that um, there will also be um, some Stardust bonuses during this time as well. So during this weekend, you'll be able to have. Um, there will be two times catch stardust and two times hatch stardust. And one final thing they mention about the mysterious weekend event is that there will, is that it will be accompanied by a brand new special research story event. There's currently nothing else that we know about this mysterious weekend event, but I'll definitely keep you posted once we learn more about what's going on with the event and what's going on with that special research. So for our next bit of news, a Team Go Rocket global takeover will soon be occurring in Pokemon Go. So on Friday, March 6th at 8 a.m. to Monday, March 9th at 10 p.m. in your local time, uh, Poison and Dark type Pokemon will be appearing much more often in the wild, as well as other Pokemon that are related to Team Go Rocket. Two Pokemon that are particularly interesting that will be spawning more frequently in this event is that Absol will be once again be appearing in the wild during this time and one other thing worth noting is that if you're lucky you may be able to encounter a shiny Skorupi during this time as well so as for the actual global takeover that will be occurring on saturday march 7th from 2 to 5 p.m in your local time and during this time uh team go rocket grunts will be taking over i can assume much more pokestops if not all of the pokestops that will not be designated for any of either the Go Rocket leaders or for Giovanni himself. Speaking of which, Sierra, Cliff, Arlo, and Giovanni will also be much more active during this time. So if you have yourself the Rocket Raider or the Super Rocket Raider, there's a good chance you may more easily encounter either the leaders or Giovanni himself during this invasion. Other things worth noting about the Go Rocket Invasion is that all six of the Shadow Pokemon that were owned by the Team Go Rocket leaders that had the potential to be shiny Shadow Pokemon will all be available during this invasion. Um, you'll also be able to use a Charge TM on Shadow Pokemon in order to get rid of the exclusive Charge Attack Frustration. Uh, one thing to note though is that if you do use a Charge TM on the Shadow Pokemon and then purify it, it will still learn the charge move return once purified. Also worth noting is that defeating Team Go Rocket Grunts and Leaders will earn you twice the usual Stardust. And during this time, the usual in-game music will be replaced with the Team Go Rocket music. Right. So for our next bit of news, the Psychic Spectacular event will be returning to Pokemon Go from Friday, March 27th at 8am to Monday, March 30th at 10pm in your local time. So during this time, uh, two new Gen 5 Pokemon will be making their debut in Pokemon Go. And those Pokemon are Solosis, the Cell Pokemon, and Gothita, the Fixation Pokemon. Uh, one thing worth noting is that during the event, Solosis will be spawning more frequently throughout the day, and Gothita will be spawning more frequently throughout the night. One more thing worth noting about those two Pokemon is that after the event, they'll be... They'll both still be available out in the wild, and they'll also be available to hatch from 5 kilometer eggs. Uh, speaking of eggs, during this event, there will be psychic type Pokemon that are hatching more frequently from 2 kilometer eggs. And those Pokemon are Abra, Drowsy, Routes, Boink, Baltoy, Why Not, Beldum, Gothita, and Solosis. Along with those more frequent egg hatches, if you're lucky, you may be able to encounter a shiny ball toy during and after this event. I guess psychic type Pokemon in general but will be featured more often in the raids and in, and in the wild. And during this time, there will be field research tied specifically with the psychic spectacular event during this time period. So for our next bit of news, Niantic has made some updates to some new features that they've incorporated recently into Pokemon Go, and that is the Pokemon Spotlight Hour and the Mystery Bonus Hour. So for the updates to the Pokemon Spotlight Hour, it will still be occurring on every Tuesday from 6 to 7 p.m. in your local time, but instead of highlighting a very specific Pokemon, it sounds like they're just going to have a, a large spawn increase of the local Pokemon in the area during these times. 
And otherwise, for the mystery bonus hour, that will still be occurring from Thursday at 6 to 7 p.m. in your local time. And they've just specified that those bonuses will most likely include things like bonus candy, bonus stardust, or bonus XP. Alright, so that's all of the news I have for today. I will see you guys in the next video.